Hello, and today I'm here reviewing Petals on the Wind by V.C. Andrews. Okay, so if you look up my review on Flowers in the Attic, I really, really love this. Love that book. But the one that I got was a freebie. It was given to me by a dear, dear friend, and it was falling apart. When I read it, it actually fell apart as I went. So I decided that since I loved it so much, I was going to look for a better copy. And I found this, and I just love the cover. Look at the dead roses on the cover, and it's Flowers in the Attic and Petals on the Wind, which I hadn't read. So, I bought it, and I immediately started reading Petals on the Wind. Now, in the first book, it's quite horrific, but it's horrific because of what the mother and the grandmother are doing. Okay, the second one, the conflict is much, much different. I mean, it's, it's, it's like a really good sequel, but I love that it's different because usually the conflict is all the same in a series. For example, in, okay, we'll use Twilight for an example. In Twilight, first book, the threat was Victoria and James. Second book, there's a lot of conflict between Edward and Bella, Bella but you also have Victoria and Laurent, I think. And then in Eclipse, you have the threat by Victoria. So it didn't really change a whole lot. In this one, it was a little different. She's no longer threatened by her mother and her grandmother, but she is, Kathy is driven by revenge. And that's what drives the whole book and how she wants to become vengeful enough to take vengeance on, out on her grandmother and mother. And she's also finding it hard to slip out of that mothering role that she had to her younger siblings and into a young lady role. And that causes her some issues. <clears throat> and then we start to see Kathy kind of change as the book goes and she starts getting darker and darker and darker and there at the end the ending was so shocking to me because I read it and I was like what because here she has these two beautiful healthy little boys and all of a sudden it's talking about their new house and there's an attic and she mentions that there's two beds up there and her fears and her new fears that she has and it is just it's dreadful and I'll tell you what the ending of the first book was kind of finalized and I think you could tell that that was like the first book of the series because sometimes authors will write that ending closed off and it's it's pretty well wrapped up and it was in the first one it was really really wrapped up in the second one, I think you definitely knew that there was going to be another book afterwards. Because it left you on a cliffhanger. And so that was... Whew, that, that was a dramatic ending. And I loved it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. One of my favorite books. And I just... I really would love to find hardback versions of this but I've just never seen them in the stores. If I ever do see them, I'll buy them, and then I'll give my paperback versions away. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. And also, Petals on the Wind is also a movie on Lifetime now. They're redoing it. And I really love the Petals on the Wind movie. I wanted to see how it differed from the book, and it did a little bit as far as Kathy goes, but... The main storyline, it, it kept in. Even her visit to the grandmother towards the end and then the big climax. So I'm really excited to see what the third book is because I don't think the third movie is out yet. And I haven't read the third book, so I'm hoping I actually get to read the third book before the movie comes out. So like, comment, subscribe, and tell me if you have seen the new movies on Lifetime and what you think about Petals on the Wind and Flowers in the Attic. And I really think that this was, I think this is like a horror novel, but my next one is, 
The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Other Tales. So we'll get to that. <laughs> 